When Dr. Alois Alzheimer asked 51-year-old August Detter to write her name, she tried but could not. I have lost myself, she said. The year was 1901, and Deterre had just been admitted to a mental hospital, suffering from delusions about her husband being adulterous and paranoia about her neighbors trying to kill her. Before being institutionalized for a decade, she had shown increasing memory loss and symptoms of dementia. When August D., as she was known in medical records, died in 1906, her brain was examined by Dr. Alzheimer, who found senile plaques and neurofibrillary tangles that would become the hallmark of Alzheimer's disease. Later, those plaques were identified as deposits of a protein called beta amyloid, while the tangles were composed of another type of protein now known as tau. Alzheimer's is an age-related disease, with victims often ending up in a tragic vegetative state. Numbers are expected to increase significantly with an aging population. There's no cure for the disease, unfortunately, and the medications available have minimal impact. But now there's a slight, very slight glimmer at the end of a long, dark tunnel with a study showing that modification of lifestyle factors may be able to slow the progression of the disease. The principal investigator is Dr. Dean Ornish, who has long worked on reversing heart disease through a vegetarian diet, exercise, yoga, and meditation, with some success. Now he has turned his attention to Alzheimer's disease. 51 patients with early Alzheimer's disease were randomized into experimental and control groups. The experimental group had vegan meals delivered to them, as well as supplements of omega-3 fatty acids, curcumin, coenzyme Q10, lion's mane mushroom, and various minerals and vitamins, with some of the latter in higher doses than found in common daily multivitamin tablets. The experimental group was also given a program of exercise and were guided to learn relaxation techniques. After 20 weeks, all the patients underwent standard tests for cognition, and the conclusion was that the patients in the control group continued to decline, while in the experimental group, some actually showed an improvement. The findings generated lots of headlines about a vegan diet, exercise, and meditation possibly halting Alzheimer's disease. The results were actually less than spectacular. First, you can hardly hang a hat on an experimental group comprised of only 24 subjects. Of these, 10 showed improvement, 7 were unchanged, and 7 worsened. None in the control group improved, 8 were unchanged, and 17 worsened. And the improvement was not impressive. For example, in the test that showed the best result, with a lower score indicating better cognition, the experimental group dropped from 21.5 to 20.5, while the control group increased from 21.3 to 22.2. The other tests result in an even smaller difference. These numbers are hardly something to crow about. There is yet another issue. Even if we assume that there is a benefit, there remains the question of which component of the program is responsible. Generally, in a randomized trial, you want just one variable. In this case, there were many. Is the result due to diet, the exercise, the meditation, uh, one of the many supplements? We don't know. The author's own conclusion is that, quote, in persons with mild cognitive impairment or early dementia due to Alzheimer's disease, comprehensive lifestyle changes may improve cognition and function. There is that troublesome word may. Why troublesome? Because may not could also be a fitting conclusion. Still, there's a fringe of hope for someone suffering from early Alzheimer's disease uh, and uh, someone who can follow this rather strict Ornish regimen. That for today is our Cup of Joe.